We're sorry, guys. Whoops, we ate. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's got to give. I think it's going to be you, Preet Nuts. That's a good baby. One more. I hope this is what I think it might be. Alright, now you guys be careful. What do you want? What do you want, Anna? And before we get started, Anna Jean needs a treat. Here, you guys want those snackers down here? Come on, let's guys come down here. All right, there you go, Kira. <laughs> here, scooch over. Here, you want a couple? There you go. There you go. Can you hear the train out there? We don't hear it too often, but the nights have been so still that we can hear it tonight. And then um, after we're done here, I got an update, a couple updates for you, Jaina and Jaken, and about the floor. So um, do we have a catatiri? And I'm just going to back up so I can see the chat. Does anybody want to be a cat the cataterry? Yay, Nuki. Nuki has been elected. Well, we have one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six. These two are really heavy. I hope I hope I know what's in them. We shall see. These two came from Walmart. Whoops. Let me check them. I have a note. Yeah. Let's just make sure that that's what this is. And if it is, I might have been right on this one. Not very often. But we do know we have paper for the kids. Yeah. This has to be from Siggy. S-I-G-G-I, -G -G -I, Siggy Surfing. She sent me an email that we're going to get some kids together. Picasso. You're a nut. And if we got one box. Ouch! <laughs> and this, this is a 20 pounder. These came at a good time because uh, I used the last uh, of the litter that we have reserved for out here today. So I kind of shorted myself when I was kind of estimating how much we would use this week. Yeah, this is from Siggy. Siggy Surfing. Okay. Now, if I could... All right, you guys. And this is a 20-pounder, so that's 40 pounds, and it's the Arm & Hammer Multicat Extra Strength. And heaven knows we can use extra strength around here. And we have... A Tilo. A Tilo. And we have, of course, the ornery little black dude. Picasso! Look how big he's getting. You're ornery. Up you go, buddy. I'm going to uh, keep this paper in here. And when I take the boxes around, <laughs> I'll uh, put the paper in the back so we can get it put where we keep the extra paper at for the kitties in for when we get to move back in. Here, you go back. That's a good boy. Yes, we have another box, another heavy one. All right, Tweeny. Tweeny weeny girl. Squeaking. That sounds like an Anna Jane squeak. Yep, she's right down here. Watch your tail, Tween. 
tweeny weeny. All right, we got another one. I'm pretty sure this is from Siggy also. It amazes me. Have 40 boxes, 40 pounds of heavy litter just in a cardboard box that it does. Well, it did break actually, but it made it here. This is another 20 pound of the Maldi Cat extra scoop or extra street. And I'll keep two boxes in here since we're all the way out in here, and then I'll take two in the back for when we get to go back in the rescue center. Okay, Tweeny, you're so helpful. So that's four boxes from Siggy, and I think we'll keep a couple of those out for. Oh, Asha, I'm so sorry, honey for tonight's toys. You're right, Asha. I'm oh, sorry, baby. And, oh, up you go. And we have Tweeny. There's so much help, you know. Alright, let's put this out so we have a little more room, guys. Watch out, look. Look, console. Or Jake and you're Jake. Sorry. Yep. And we have a box from Petco. What was that? Are you okay? You okay? Here. Let's scoot you over this way. Oh my. This is another heavy box. This is from Petco. From the Georgia branch. See what's in this one. Will you keep track of that for me, Patty? Oh, wow. Lots of stuff. Lots of good food stuff. But it doesn't say who. Let me see if I might have a note on this one. Oh, now stop. Not sure if anybody's cleaning the one from PetSmart or Petco. Yeah, where the pets go. We have. Oh well, this might be. Let me. This might be a clue. Let me go check my other paper. Oh, this is really nice. The appetizers, because we don't have any appetizers here for the old stores. Let me check this one. Stop. You're fine. Yeah. I think that this is from Demian. D-E-M-I-A-N. Are you okay? And there's a steamed wild Alaskan salmon. And there's another. Uh, these are the appetizers. So there's two appetizers, which uh, we don't have any in here. So I'm going to keep one there for in here's use. be so glad when we get back in there and we have more room and then check this out there's there's this one of the fancy feast that's a variety this is a chicken variety do you guys need any more fancy feast in your in your uh, Dodgers pin there and this is the Medley's Fancy Feast. We've been having a little trouble with some of the oldsters eating. So I think we'll keep one of these Medley's out for this weekend. And I'm sure it's just because of all the changes that we've had. There. And then there's even more. There's a 12 pack have another medley and another 12 pack or actually these are 24 packs two 24 packs <laughs> don't get that on you a fancy feast chicken so thank you I'm pretty sure this is Zemia is it
Yeah, Demian, D-E-M-I-A-N. So thank you. Not sure if you're on right now, but we sure do appreciate the food very, very much. And what I'll do is I'll keep those two in here because it looks like some of the food's getting low in the in the Dodgers pen. It was hard to estimate how much we were going to use this week. And then I'll take these around to Thumper's room uh, to store until we get to get moved back in. So um, thank you so very much. I'm very grateful. Very, very. Are you being helpful? Uh, no wonder that box was so heavy. Where are, you, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? And then we have three boxes down here. Are you guarding it? Uh, this one's Plymouth. Hi, Yasha. Are you staring? These three. No, they're not. No, they're different. I was going to say they were all look the same. This is from a Sig from Sigrid, not our not our Sigrid volunteer, but it's it is from Florida. It is from Florida though. Okay, you guys. Now you know you have to be careful around these box knives. Must be careful. Oh, let's see, we got a letter. We like the letters. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is also from Siggy. Siggy Surfing says, "Oh, there's a kitty on here. Hi, Jackie. My name is Smokey. I hope these items, these few items that I am sending you, can help with your organization and give the kitty some fun as well. I play with my ping pong balls all day long. Every once in a while, they go under the couch, but my mom either buys new ones or fishes them out with the broom or stick. Congrats to your new floor being laid. Yahoo!" What a relief, I'm sure, for all of you. This is my cousin Zelda. Thanks for being such a great caregiver to all the little beings in your center, and thanks to the volunteers. Your webcam is fantastic. <laughs> I get nothing done anymore. Best wishes, and this is from Siggy from, from Florida. Here's her, her kitty, Smokey. Looks like a beautiful tortie. And then this is her cousin Zelda. Aren't those beautiful? Look at the black. That looks like one of ours recently. Those are pretty cats. Oh, we got to wash your face again, don't we? You need to wipe your face again. Wow, we've got a... Uh, oh, this is nice. This is a uh, food... Publix food here. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, and, it's, and it features a Bengal cat on the back. Hey, that's kind of cute that they do that. And then this is an adult dry food from um, Publix. P-U-B-L-I-X. Thank you, Siggy. And, oh, and the Fancy Feast. We add this in with the dry adult Fancy Feast. Kitties really like that. Q-tips which I use some today um, in um, out for some of the outside kitties. And, oh, this is nice. Uh, one of the packets of kitty foods, the Crave, which I will put in theirs. And this is the Perfectly Fish, which we did not bring any of this up here, so I'll pre I appreciate that. Ocean white fish and tuna. There's uh oh. Oh, there's a whole bunch of um, fancy feast. And because of the space, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in this pen so I don't have a bunch of stuff out. So just give me a moment, please. And we'll use those fish for breakfast tomorrow morning. Actually, what I've been doing for breakfast. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't, don't. No, you don't either. Come here. Come on. Come on. No. 
<laughs> All right. Actually, what I've been doing for breakfast is taking the food inside and mixing it up. So I'll have to take some of those apart and take it in because it's a lot easier to mix it up inside than out here in our small space. And I'll do that also. And then Peggy sent... Oh, some ping pong balls. When I get done here tonight and get my stuff cleaned up, we'll give the kitties some of these. You know what? I'll bet you uh, Tilo would like those. And we also have... Oh! I'm sure this is to be shared. I'm just sure. Oh, maybe. Sardines. This is, oh, and olive oil, mustard and dill. That one I'll have. And kippers and sardines in water. Yeah. I always make sure the kitties get the sardines with water and oil for them. And if there happens to be any in mustard, then I always take those. So thank you. Thank you, Siggy. You know, you guys... Did you get any sardines this week? I'm not so sure. And there's an envelope in here. And, uh, oh, a ten, this is a $10 off on an Office Max, which you know we will use that. And there's an, a $30 Office Max card on your next phone or online of 150 or more. We will have to see what we can do. And a $10 one also from Office Max on $20 or more. That's nice. We do use Office Max quite a bit. And coupons. There's all kinds of coupons in here for dry kitty or for canned food, especially the fancy fees. So thank you, Siggy. Yeah, we're big coupon users here. There's no doubt about that. Anything that can save a buck, we're for. It's really hot in here. <laughs> And I'll explain why when I get done with this. Okay, who's in there? Who's in there? Who's in there? Oh, the Ice Picasso. How many boxes are you going to get in? I'll catch you there, but don't play with the sardines. Well, thank you, Siggy. That's That was a pretty cool box. You got a lot of stuff in that little box. A lot of stuff in there. What do you think about that, Zelda? Huh? And this one is from Petco. Yes. I think the kitties are getting anxious to get back in their room. Oh, the appetizers. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you. I'm telling you, if you can't get a cat to eat something, try the appetizers or the baby food. And I bet you this is still another one from um, Damien. I might be pronouncing that wrong. It's D-E-M-I-A-N. But if I'm wrong, please, please correct me. Correct me on the on the chat so that Nuki can get the right name down. And this is also from Petco. I think it's the same thing. <laughs> you know what? You came like a half an inch away from the water bowl, dude. You are lucky. He, he's probably thinking, yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> we laughed at you, buddy. Yeah, nothing more than that. But I am glad you didn't spill it. Oh, this is different. And another pet coat. And it's full of uh, Whisker Lickens, um, the, soft, the soft ones, the tender, tender moments, they're called. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me check on my paper and see if this might also be. And I'm going to put some of these in our little cat treat box. Yep. Yep, these are these are also from from Demian. Thank you so much. You know it was it was hard to 
It was hard to try to plan what all we were going to need for a whole week of being in here. <laughs> and uh, most of the stuff we did pretty good on. But definitely some things that we weren't, uh, we didn't think about as much as what we should have. But that, it was hard. Okay, let me stick this outside. Let me stick this out, guys. Ding dong. And we have another box. Are you guys getting all livened up? They even put my papers in the litter box. How could they do that? All right, where's my cutter? Here it is. This one is from Carol from Pennsylvania. Carol from Pennsylvania. Percocy, I think is how you would pronounce it. What do you think, Patty? Think we're okay here, dude? This has been a long week. And we have a note. We've got a note with a bunch of kitty stamps on it. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Yuki, there's a donation in here. Um, it says, Dear Jackie Volunteers and Kitties, Hi, my name is Carol, <laughs> and I am an FFRC uh, holic. I have not joined chat yes, yet, yet I, ha I am a watcher or lurker, but I have been watching and voting daily for several weeks. You have provided me with hours and hours of fun watching. I have four cats and two dogs, and we all watch morning feedings, boxes, and envelopes. Well, hopefully then, then that you're on, Carol, and her, um, yeah, she is from Percocy, Pennsylvania. I, I am so in awe of the things you do and wanted to send these along to you. I was not able to participate in the sale of the floor, so hopefully my donation will help towards your storage room or whatever you want to use it for. And, and Carol, we will, we will put this towards our storage room. Best wishes to Steve in his recovery and for your mom too. Oh, I have to agree with several of the cameras. The, the kitties look much larger than they really are on camera. When I heard their weights, I then realized how tiny some of the kitties are. I also, ha I also have to say what a beautiful group of kitties you have. I want them all. Thanks again for allowing me into your life. You are an inspiration. Oh, Carol, thank you so much. And, you know, I get such a kick out of that where you say I have to agree with several of the cameras. The kitties look much larger than they really are. I've heard that so many times where they'll come in and say, oh, they're so small. And I just, I get such a kick out of that. Um, excuse me for just one minute. I'm going to jot down Carol's check for the story room. I'm trying so hard to keep everything straight in our little, in our little office here. All right, you guys. Oh, you know what? I got to show you this too. The front of Carol's card is <laughs> that's what made me laugh. It's uh, it's a painting or a picture of a painting. But look at this. Isn't that cute? She's feet gonna feed the kitties, and they're all excited. But this is what her note said, which made me laugh. It says. Let me see your eyes. Most of the time, not so much out here, but in the other room, in our normal room, before I put the food down, a lot of times I'll hold the plates and, you know, the kitties are all looking at me and that's an excellent time for me to to take a look at eyes, to see if they're good or if, or if we have somebody with um, um, gunky eyes or cloudy eyes or sore eyes. So I always say, let me see your eyes. So thank you, Carol. I got a kick out of that. Thank you. I appreciate that. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Well, let's see what Carol sent. Wow. I'm going to put that over there. 
Oh, oh, royal, those royal butter cookies. These are the best. Well, maybe I think that's what's in here. <laughs> and you know what? Right now, today I ate more candy than what I should have just because trying to get through this uh, floor procedure. Wow. All right, kitties. Who's going to use their toenail and help me? It is. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. This will help us get through the next couple days with the floor. And then I... Look at that. Isn't that cute? And I'm big. Oh, and there's stickers. Love stickers. Actually, was looking for some the other day, so thank you. I like to use them for... Um, for cards and check this out there's a whole bunch of these for Farah um, oh you know how we were talking about flavors these, this, here's another one it's an allergy formula pill pocket it's roasted duck and pea formula never heard of that one roasted duck and pea formula so and salmon and um, I have to uh, give her hers tonight yet. Chicken, salmon. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you, Carol. Oh, and a deluxe pill crusher. Oh, this is nice. My sister will so much appreciate this. She's the one, she's the main one that crushes up the pills for the kitties. Whoops, excuse you. God bless you. Here, can I get into there, pretty please? And there's some, oh, these are those Yao toys. Actually, this morning, somebody got the kitty some of these uh, uh, catnip ones a few weeks ago. And this morning, I picked one up, and they had it entirely ripped apart. So this will be a good replacement, except they got to take that tape off. I just got a rubber band. Hey, here you go. There you go. I'm going to leave the pill pockets inside there. And since the kitties have been so good this week, I'm going to give them all three of these. They've been so good. And I know this has been hard for them as well. It's been a little wearing week. Here's another one, guys. You know what? I didn't tell... Uh, the volunteers know we have to be really careful with rubber bands. Look at Siri. She's... She's doing that. She's getting it. You know, we are so careful. Careful. Oh, and the cigar. This is like those banana ones. You guys are going to get these. Sometimes I, you know, we use our toys in the sequence that we get them. But tonight you guys get the, get all the fun stuff here because you guys have been so good. Thank you, Carol. This is awesome. Um, rubber bands. We are so, so careful here with rubber bands and this is a little backpack and uh, the other day boy I just was really startled I looked inside the or I was scooping the litter boxes and saw something blue in there and I thought what is that so I was scooping and sure enough there was a great big thick, thick rubber band it's about this big probably about a quarter of an inch thick in the litter box. So somewhere the kitties um, found a rubber band and that I mean that could have been really serious. Um, been a lot of trouble for the kitties if I got stuck in the intestinal tract. Uh, so thank you everybody for all the good things here that you've given the kitties. Uh, I appreciate it. I was going to pull up the stool but oh here I do have the stool. I got a few things to go over with you. Yeah. You guys are so, oh, so many of you. So sorry. I almost stepped on your sardine or your cigar. You okay there? Did I get anybody? So I just need my mask. Got a few things to talk to you about. And then um, <laughs> we had some big changes here today. So 
The first one, I'll tell you about the four last. And let me read these and then I'll go over. We had a couple changes today. Um, this is from a Susan F. And I just got this tonight. And she suggested that I read this out loud because there may be others that want to know this. She says, no. <laughs> and Sari's going to town on the one little salmon um, catnip toy. And so is Tweenie down here. She says, now that you know about Jaina and Jaken is now also confirmed. Do you still believe Anakin had a virus or perhaps was having problems because of this defect? And she says, please answer. Others may want to know also. Well, for those of you that maybe haven't been here all that long, the Jaken and Jaina's uh, sister, Anakin, did pass away. Anakin definitely had a virus, but she got so sick so fast that we don't know. We didn't. We did not have an autopsy done, but I would say uh, a fair likelihood that she also had the enlarged heart, and that might have made the recovery a little bit difficult. But the symptoms that she was showing was definitely an upper respiratory infection or from a virus. So I would say she definitely had the virus, and it could have been complicated if she did have. Um, the heart uh, trouble that uh, Gina has. You know, we don't know that for sure. So I can't say for sure, but I can say there is a possibility. But we do know the initial thing was brought on by by a virus. And then um, litter. Oh, this is the litter one. So. Yeah, I think we got all four box. Oh, no, no, there's going to be even three more boxes from Siggy for litter. So I'm going to put this back here so I don't get things messed up. Oh, my goodness. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> oh, I can't even hardly look at the desk. It's so messy. Hey, those are those kippers. Don't put those in the litter box. Roz is up here playing with the uh, catnip toys. And then this one is from, I got a kick out of this. This is from Lori or our webcam friend, uh, Feline Toys. I got this in the mail this afternoon, which just really was funny. I'll read this to you. She says, um, yeah, she said I can share this. I got a package in the mail today from Queen Bella. So Feline got a package. Where is Bella? Bella, Bella sent sea line uh, package. And in looking at the envelope, I am thinking it isn't the queen's handwriting, nor is it mine. I open the envelope, and there is a note from the queen, a picture of the queen and snackies for my three. The note is telling me she is sorry about the floor and sorry she might have to go into Thumper's room. This was written before you decided against that and sorry that I might not see her for a whole week. I am going, hmm, while I'm reading this. This note also names all three of my cats by name, and I know I have never told the queen her siblings' names in Washington, and I am thinking there is no way Jackie remembers all three of their names. The clue of who actually mailed this stuff for Bella, or from Bella, was on the envelope. It had a delivery confirmation on it, and I'm thinking, oh gee, would that would do that? So I sent G a mess a text telling her I've got something from Queen Bella, and wondering if she knew anything about it. She at first acted like she knew nothing, but I got her to confess. She said Bella asked her to do it last time she visited, and of course you have to do what the Queen asks you to do. The whole thing brought tears to my eyes. You are always saying how much you enjoy the friendships we have made on the chat, so I thought I would share with you. Please feel free to share this with the cam. It is such a good thing that G did for me. Oh yeah, G is Gemini. G is now my name for her. So Gemini knew that Feline would very much miss um, 
Queen Bella if she wasn't out here. And so she sent uh, Feline a little package. And I thought that was so cute, so sweet. And uh, she, I think she addressed it from Friends of Feline's Rescue Center, but it was from, from Gemini. So I'm going to save this one, too. I'm getting a whole collection of these. Okay, so, excuse me, kitty. Sorry. I know that scared you out a little bit. So there was two things that happened today that I wanted to tell you guys. The first thing is that Gina, well, first off, I think most of you know that um, uh, little Fifi did not go for her surgery today there in uh, Archibald. The ophthalmologist had said that it was a good idea to wait till she was six months old, which is in another six weeks. So uh, Fifi is on hold. And we're putting eye ointment in her eyes twice a day. And But Gina and Jaken did go up. Gina had her spay. She did just fine with the pre-op medications. And she did just beautiful through the surgery. Absolutely no problem at all. Hi, Fifi. Yeah, we were talking about you. And uh, But remember I had said she was supposed to have an EKG uh, if she behaved. I mean, because she doesn't like a lot of holding down which I don't blame her and of course that's what she did she didn't like it and she was fussing so badly about being held down a little bit for the EKG that they were not able to do that EKG so we didn't do they didn't get to do that but she did really really well today and then um, the other one Jaken had the little black brother who's right here he did have his chest x-ray, and she said, he's a lot like her brother, or her sister in, in uh, personality, that he didn't like being held down either, because they do it without a sedative. Um, but they did get the x-ray done, and it does show a very mild form of the cardiomyopathy with it, which just means is a disease of the heart. Um, it's an enlargement of the muscle, Jana's is mild to moderate, and uh, Jakin's is just barely mild, she said. But enough, sometimes when, you know, the heart kind of looks like a fist, the, our heart, human hearts as well does the, the kitties. Um, but sometimes she was saying that they kind of look like a valentine, a little, little heart-shaped heart where it's bigger up here than down here. And she said, you could tell, definitely tell, that that was the definition of what his heart is. So um, she told me that when, when we're ready and feel comfortable with it, that they can be put up for adoption. But, you know, we, we, and I am always very honest with every adoption, that the people would have to know that, you know, it is a risk. And so we'll see what happens. We're going to keep them around here a little bit yet, maybe have some lab work or whatever they recommend to do down the road, just a little ways, and see where we're at on um, furthering the diagnosis on those two babies. So that's where we're at with Jake and, and Gina. And then the other bit of news is about the floor. Oh, my. They were supposed to be in this morning to do the four inch white vinyl mop board that goes along the edge, the bottom of the wall to the floor. And um, I noticed this morning when I, because I'm always nosy, you know, I'm always having to check things out. And I touched it and it felt a tiny, tiny bit tacky. So I laid on my tummy on my, my house floor so I could reach way down to feel the floor of the rescue center and put my finger in it and it was soft. So I came around, came out through uh, the welcome room and touched the floor and that's really soft over there. So I waited till uh, Jimmy came, that's one of the workers, and he was, he was coming to put the whiteboard up and I said, I'm really, really, really worried about the floor, it didn't harden. And so he called his boss, Bruce, and Bruce is awesome. That whole gang there, that whole workers are awesome. Um, Bruce came out and he agreed it was not had not cured yet and of all the years that they've done this they've only ever have had one floor 
one other floor that has not cured where it gets rock hard like what this is did so they were not able to put those that mop board up and uh, he came back this afternoon at three o'clock I guess it was and rechecked it and he thought it was a tiny tiny bit harder although it still is somewhat tacky it, it should have been dry you know even late last night the early early this morning and uh, so he checked the person that had mixed it and they did make it up appropriately they did make it up correctly and then he called the manufacturer he had went to I think it was to Toledo to pick it up and they checked the lots on it and it was fine so don't know really for sure why that happened but uh, it might mess up our plans here a little bit what they might have to do he's coming tomorrow morning he's going to do one of two things this is the plan right now one is they'll come in the floor will be rock hard they'll go ahead and put the four inch um, mop boards up or if it's still as tacky they're going to have to take that polyurethane off by grinding it off and then put on a new um, a new layer of the polyurethane the only thing that he could think of that it might be is that the time setup is based on a room that oh I sorry babe that is 70 degrees and you know that I mean that's in in there it's, it doesn't have the these windows open that's that we have out here so uh, he brought he had this really cool digital thermometer that you just point and click and it tells you the temperature so we checked it and most of it was at 64, 65 and that's what we had the thermometer set at and uh, I did go in, he, he <laughs> well I went in earlier too and hiked it up to 66 I think it was so when he was here he said they really like to have it be curing at 70 degrees it just makes it go faster so he's hoping that that's why it didn't cure yet is that it wasn't warm enough in there so right now we have it set up to 72 degrees in there which that warm air filters over into here which makes it makes this room really really warm and Thumper's room is really really warm so we're hoping that that tomorrow morning um, that that floor is going to be rock hard I just hope and pray that it will be and then if not they're just going to have to take that top layer off and do it again so which is going to delay our move-in time which he knows I told him I'm going to have a meltdown if if we don't get to get in there on Sunday but things happen you know we if if it if this is what we have to do we have to do it we don't have a choice in it we I mean we can either pout about it and be grumpy about it or we just go along and do what we have to do and get through it so if we're in here another extra day or two that's just the way it has to be we might as well grin and just get through it so um, so to help the kitties they're going to get appetizers and some of that medley tomorrow morning for breakfast I might have to have a can of sardines tonight and uh, we'll just get through all of this um, it's just one of those things nothing else too much new around here I don't think sesame here is feeling the best he's just been off a little bit today when um, Bruce told me I could go in there and turn that thermostat up I did grab our bottle of antibiotics that I neglected to do on Sunday when we Monday when we moved in here so we started him on antibiotics um, but everybody else is doing really good and we have had five days in a row of beautiful weather here who would ever believe that end of January 1st of February that we would have this kind of weather it's just been awesome so the kitties have had their little trap door over here opened up to their big outdoor enclosure so it's almost doubled the size of what they've got in here which helps them and it helps us um, but I think these cats have just done a really good job of uh, keeping their tempers in such close quarters here I'm going to step back at the desk and if you have any questions I'll be glad to answer them for you if I can I didn't, um, 
No, I didn't get a card, Sharky. But maybe tomorrow it'll be here. Did you get email with the pie room suggestions? You mean the names, MK, um, uh, storage room name suggestions? Put the, put the wallpaper on Ustream. That's done by B and um, Lens, our computer people. B is the one who uh, designed our logo. It is cool. Hey, what are you doing there, guy? The dogs have been really good. I kind of miss them because I don't get to see them as much. I keep going back there to visit them and play with them, but they're also doing really, really good. I gotta do Fair's medicine. Can't forget that. It, I know, I know, Mrs. Um, it'll be worth the wait, and it, it's all gonna work out. It always does. Who's leaving soon, Cantwise? I've got, I think, a couple people that want to come in next week to look at that. But the one that I know for sure is leaving next, I'm not sure if you guys, oh, I think you guys might know this, Siri is going to be leaving on the 11th. Promise is doing much better. Unfortunately, she got a little infection in her incision. That rarely, rarely happens here. But she did, and we've got her on antibiotics, and she's doing really good now. Okay, well, hopefully some of these cards will be coming in soon. Oh, about Cliff? Yeah, Cliff is one of our Sun Porch cats. He's a good boy. He's an orange cat with that cleft lip. You rarely see a cat with a cleft lip, but he is. Badu has been awesome. I love her. She's been wonderful. I'll miss Siri too, especially at breakfast time. Um, oh, Twinkle's Monkey, I, and then I'll get back to the storage room thing. Um, Twinkle's Monkey. Let me hang on. I'm not going to be able to see the questions, but. Her monkey has been up there all week. We actually, we made sure that we brought her monkey in, right, Twinkle? And we've kept track of it this whole week. It's usually over here, but I don't see it now. Um, but we've had it front and center. Everybody likes it. Oh, oh, oh listen to those bubbles. Yeah, maybe monkey's finally trying to get away from all these kitties. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. Oh, it's on the floor when the boxes fell. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now that I would believe that Octavia stole it. The kitties love friskies. <laughs> yeah, teacup, I thought I saw you in that camera lens waving. I really did. <laughs> you guys are, you know, you guys too have been kind of cramped along with us this week, haven't you? Yeah, but woo, what a mess I made. Boy, look at that. We just made a terrible mess. Are you okay? Jean is right up here. She's finally going to take a rest. She's one busy girl. Oh, night from our Sweden friend. Holly fell in the bowl of water yesterday. Oh my, I'm telling you, we've had more cats fall this week, and I think it's just because they're, they're so cramped. Every, last night, or maybe it was this morning, I've lost track of time, 
I came in and I was holding a kitty and wanted to put one down and every single place was spoken for. Uh, claustrophobic. Yeah, we're doing pretty good though. Well, I think that's all other than, um, was there something I missed? <laughs> I thought maybe you guys would kind of let that pass by. First off, the monkey is, well, I'll find it when I clean up. I did get the quote. I did get the quote for the storage room. And uh wasn't as much as what I thought it was going to be. And uh, I've had a couple people asking me, are, are you sure 8x12 is enough? Are you sure by 8x12 is enough? And um, I think it is. I think 8x12 is going to be enough room. I've measured and I've measured and I've measured and I've even measured shelves to, you know, kind of lay it out on the floor so I know for sure exactly how it's going to look and to make sure that that's enough room. Because in the storage shed, up, oh, excuse me, storage room, because it will be a connection on the back. It's not a separate shed. It is an actual room. Roof over it, doors, everything. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's going to hold like our ladders that we've got one here. We've got, we've got three ladders that we have to have here in the rescue center to use. And our anesthetic machine that we use for our surgery needs to go in there, the refrigerator will go in there, but other than that it's going to be all, sh or excuse me, not the refrigerator, the freezer will have to go in there, but other than that it's all shelves and I figured and I figured and I figured and I really do think 8x12 is plenty big enough. It's bigger than what we have now in the newcomer's room and it's bigger than the um, welcome room. It's actually would extend clear into Thumper's room where the sink is and it's just it will be fine. I don't think there's any reason to go any bigger than that so I think we're going to stick with the 8 by 12 and I believe the quote was it was almost 9,000. So um, I was happy with that and the reason part of that the reason that some of that's going to be able to be lower than what I had thought <laughs> is because the siding that's on two walls, remember two walls are already there, um, has that new siding on when they built the thumpers room area uh, in the office and the bathroom there. So we're going to keep those as the outside siding. That's beautiful. It's fine. We don't need anything fancier than that, than that vinyl that's on there because it's going to have shelves all in front of it. We're not going to have extra windows in it because we don't need extra windows in it. And it's going to have a door to the driveway, driveway where we can just pull up, unload, go straight into the storage room, unload, and that will make it so much easier. Because I think I've told you, like, right now we have to go through one gate, two doors, and another door to get to the room that we store it now, which is another door. And it is, it's always everybody moans and groans because it's like, oh, it's all the doors that we have to go through. So this will be one door, which I'm thrilled about. Um, so there's no, so there's no windows. There's no, there are two of the sides are already done. Uh, they do have to pull up the concrete that's there now because the base of it isn't thick enough. Uh, there's, it's nothing fancy. Uh, we don't have to have um, water in there. It's just going to have two lights like what's in here. Just two simple lights. Nothing fancy on those either, and um, actually, I think the bill was closer to eight thousand. Say, it, say, I think it's eight thousand eight hundred, is what it is. But we have some of that money already. Remember, I told you I've been pocketing every, well, not pocketing, but I've been saving every single penny that I can, because I've been wanting to do this, um, mainly because when we had to move the 
the um, Earth Angels, all the surgery stuff in here when we close down Earth Angels. We all that all that equipment had to come in here, and so you know we were really very organized before that, but now we have to have there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> and what will make it nice with this storage room? What's going on? Now stop it! Is that a couple of these rescue rooms that we have where we put like mommy kitties or baby kitties when they're when they're big enough to play? Some of the stuff that's being stored in there will be able to be in the storage room, so that'll make those rooms appear to be bigger than what they do right now. Uh, so let me go back here and see if you have any questions on that. Yeah, yeah, we'll have... Um, Oh, the freezer is an upright. It's not a long thing. It, it looks just like a refrigerator, a small, a smallish refrigerator. Uh, I missed something. Oh, I missed, I missed a question. I don't know what it was. Uh, how much more do we need? We must win the big prize next round. That's right. Um, we are probably short, not as much as what you think. Uh, I've got, um, we're probably only, what would that be? Hang on a minute and I'll figure it up here real quick. We're, I've got 8,800, no, 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 the quote is 8,800. And we, we've already collected 4,700, so that's only 4,100. And um, I've got some little things that I'm already working on to try to raise that money here. And uh, so I think it's a doable thing. I got a calculator handy, Lady Doc. <laughs> I like that Nuki. Connie would help. <laughs> yeah, the big big five one would cover it. I had heard two times from Cobbett, and both times he was doing good. Um, I usually, after I've heard from him once or twice, I don't hear really too much from him, other unless they're, you know, avid Facebook people. Um, so usually after that point, if there's a problem, then they contact me. Yeah, the cat stock. And remember, these are the people who left, who, remember when Bart's built our, um, our uh, office, our new welcome room and the bathroom and Thumper's room? Remember how awesome they were? They actually built that before we had, but th we had just very little money saved for that. And they, they went ahead and built it anyhow and said that they knew that we would be able to get the money. I, j I just, that just still tickles me that there's still places like that that will do that for places, for people. <laughs> yeah, I only got one quote to it because these are the people, I know their work, they're the ones who's done so much for us throughout the years, and I just trust them so well. And they always knock off extra because of the rescue center. They've just always been really good to us. I respect them. I love their work. And, and they like us here. Uh, they're local people, and I just feel very comfortable with them.
Thank you, Canton. Yeah, I agree, Lady Doc. They do really good work. FFRC recipe book? You guys would have to provide the recipes because you guys all know I don't I don't like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which kitty has taken antibiotics? We, I went ahead and started uh, sesame on it, and um, Hetty, Hetty's got a little bit of a, um, a little wet eyes. They're perfectly fine. They're wide and open. They're not gunky. They're just kind of liquidy a little. So just see, you know, and that's the thing that worried me when I knew we were going to have to come in here, and I mentioned this last night. Um, shoulders and rescues that work in small areas uh, where kitties are more crammed. This is the kind of situation where viruses can set in. One, because of stress, lowers their immune system, and because we're such closer contact with the, uh, the cats with one another that if there is a bug that comes in, um, it can spread. But on the other hand, we've had the doors open, the windows open, they've been able to go out on the outdoor enclosure. And I purposely have not taken on any new cats this week because if one of those newbies would have brought in something, that wouldn't have been a good thing. So we have to play on the side of caution. <laughs> $10 for a putter swat. I like that. <laughs> a sardine recipe book. I like that too. <laughs> Oh, welcome, welcome, new chatter from Turkey. We're sure glad you're with us. You know, I'm not quite sure about Sesame. We're going to have to see how he does tomorrow. Uh, he's not running a temperature. He's uh, he is eating some. He just looks like he's off a little bit. He doesn't seem to be his perky self. You know, one thing I'm beginning to realize on him. I think he was was really an outside cat because he comes over here and he just looks at that door like you know he knows what a door does. Uh, and then he goes out to the outdoor enclosure and sits real close to the, the wire. And, uh, but we're going we're gonna to try to turn him into a big old mushy house cat yet. <laughs> I believe that, Nuki. Jody probably would do that. Ooh, bubbles. You like sardines too? Yeah. Yeah, Kate's already started on the 2013 uh, calendars. Okay, well. I think I'm going to clean up. I really made a big old mess out here, and I'm ready to go go call it a night. So I'm going to clean up and scoop and then go inside and take care of my guys inside. <laughs> uh, I had heard about KW uh, probably three, four times in, in Facebook. He is so well loved. He's doing really good. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being here with us. We love you guys. And we love the kitties. I only wish they could help me do the cleanup. Potter, why don't you straighten these guys up for me? Huh? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that for me, big boy? Let's move this over here so nobody knocks it over and hits someone on the head. Okay. 